Welcome back to episode 18. It's been months since I've made any progress on the car, and if I'm honest, that's mainly down to the fact that I simply don't know what I'm doing. The alterations that I made to the tow board are okay, but they're not great, and if I'm honest, I'm really disappointed in the end result. I don't think it's very professional looking, but I'm sure that I can tidy it up or at least hide it so that it can't be seen. I mean, that's not really what I want as I'm trying to make it a nice looking job. The tow board does seem to fit in place, but the surrounding panels are a real mess. So I bought myself a cheap panel beating set and I tidied up a few bits, but once again, I've got to hold my hand up and say, I really didn't know what I was doing. And what I'm doing here is looking really amateurish. I came up with a plan just to pin the board in place to line it up and then to weld it on. It was difficult because the rolling jig can't be used when the subframe is fitted and I can't weld while the subframe is on. So I'm having to pin the board on, remove the subframe, reattach the jig and get the car outside to weld it as I can't weld in my woodwork shop for obvious reasons. All the subframe brackets lined up so I just pinned the board with a few rivets. Now I will say at this point before I go any further, I messed up and I failed big time. I was in two minds whether to upload the footage from the video, but I think it's just as important to show failure as it is to show success, but you'll see shortly what happened. My first problem occurred when I removed the trestle underneath. Things seemed to move and no longer line up, so I decided to get the car outside, remove part of the floor for easy access, reattach the subframe and check everything lined up and if all was well I'd put it back on the jig and begin to weld it. After putting on some more suitable footwear, I removed some of the floor for easy access. It was tricky cutting through as a lot of previous repairs had been made to this area, and not being used to a grinder it took a while to get used to the sparks which were surprisingly hot, and even with the filtered mass that I was wearing I could still smell the fumes from cutting. Now my grinding skills they're quite questionable and something I need to look into. Whilst I had the grinder set up I also opened up the oversill just out of curiosity. So I put the trestle underneath and I removed the jig to attach the subframe, which is tricky on your own. Everything lined up which was a surprise, although I think the trestle under the floor was throwing everything out of alignment because the mini shell isn't really the most rigid. I was a bit unsure what to do at this point, so I thought I'd just go for it. So I removed the subframe, reattached the jig, and it was time to mark out the panel for welding. Typical British weather, it started raining again, so I brought the car back indoors and swapped the rivets for bolts to make things easier. Once the rain had stopped, I took the car back outside and I cleaned up the area that I needed to weld to. This probably wasn't the best way, but it worked. I used the hammer and the dollies to flatten the panel as best as I could. There was some damage to the panel, so I decided to flatten it now and I'll repair it at a later date. But the areas where I drilled out the spot welds were quite sharp, so I flattened them with a the power file. It started raining again, so back inside I applied the rust converter as a precaution, then once the weather was better, I gave it a couple of coats of the weld through primer. Previously, I'd had trouble fitting the trestles underneath, so I decided to shorten the legs and check once again to make sure that the subframe lined up. This isn't a panel that I can afford to get misaligned. Now at this point, I thought I was making good progress. I applied well through primer onto the tow board. Everything was secured in place and I used a wedge to bring the panels together. I cleaned up the area to be welded and I was all set up ready to go. But that's when I realised I couldn't actually weld. And to top it off, it started pouring down again. It was at this point that I phoned up Dennis from Classic and Retro Restorations to give him an update on the progress, and this is when I realised that I'd made a huge error. What I'd done was really stupid. For a good strong weld you need clean burr metal, aside from the weld through primer, but what I'd done was forget to remove the paint from the tow board and I'd simply sprayed weld through primer over the top of it. It was a really stupid mistake and it sent me back quite a bit as I've now got to remove the tow board and prepare it properly. But on the flip side, Dennis has given me some good pointers and hopefully within the next couple of days I'll finally fit the tow board to the car. I'm just waiting on a couple of standing discs to be delivered. So I'll end the video here and I'll pick things up for the next episode and fingers crossed the tow board will finally be fitted. Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. 
Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics, and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support. 